Hello everyone and welcome back to A Clash of Kings. We're here in King's Landing and I think we're going to Coppersmith's Wind to look for this guy Malkos so we can get a book from him. I think that's what we were doing. Alright, let's visit Coppersmith's Wind and visit Malkos Bookstore. Coppersmith's Wind is a street going through one of the moderately wealthy parts of King's Landing. The street originally housed the Guild of Coppersmiths, but they have long ago disappeared and visitors can now find a plethora of bookshops, spice dealers, scribes, goldsmiths, and minor noble houses on the street. Alright, so, to the bookstore, to talk to Malkos. Malko. Alright, oh my god, look at this, this is a nice place. This is nicely detailed, holy shit. We've got a map here of some place that I've never seen before. Um, some books? Oh my god, this is nice. Okay, Malko. Ah, a customer! How can I help you, going good man? I have been sent by Archmeister Herodin. Joyous news! My last peculiar... Pe Jesus, my last peculiar... I can't even say that word. Had a nasty accident. A couple of months back. Cut himself on a fine piece of vellum. Vellum? What is vellum? I'm not really sure. And would you believe it, it turned gangrenous. Ooh, nasty. Lost his whole hand. Sad story, so sad. At least it wasn't his right hand. He'll still be able to work as a scribe. What does a procurer do? They procure books. I have many contracts throughout the Seven Kingdoms, and you wouldn't believe the kind of lost knowledge and the lords and knights of the realm have hidden away in the cellars. Once I found a piece of Septon Baths, dragons, worms, and wyverns. Their unnatural history being used as a tablecloth in the room of an old blind knight sold it to Tyrion Lannister for a king's ransom. Even the Citadel itself cannot outbid a Lannister, but they are my most persistent customers, the Maesters. But what do you need me for? I can't leave my shop to go galvan galvananting around the world looking for books, but I can send a soft scribe in my place. Oh, but I can't send a soft scribe in my place either. Even at the best of times, the roads can be a hazardous, can be a hazardous place, but you look like the tough sort. And I have work for you. Um, I've heard rumors of a book hidden away in the Vale. It might be multiple books, to tell you the truth. It referred, it's referred in various texts, most notably in one of Bath's fragments. It goes by different names. The Dreams of Azothoth. Dead names. But it most often, it's most often called The Mysteries of the Worm. Oh, cool. What the hell is that? Azoth? Az Azoth? 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 Anyways, uh, who knows which one is real? I think it's a myth, but imagine if not. We could sell the book and to the Meisters for unimaginable riches. Oh, is it very valuable? Oh, not really. Marwan writes that the people of Ashai tell tales of the book. It's supposed to be an introduction to all kinds of magic. Silly superstitions, but the Meisters have labored long and hard to eradicate supposed magical textbooks and find such as this could render many of their efforts futile, um, and to find such as this could render many of their efforts futile. So they'd pay well to have it destroyed. According to my sources, a septon has been making mentions of a magical book in the northwestern parts of the Vale. Go there and talk to him, Reynes. Find out if there's any truth to the whole thing. I'll reward you handsom handsomely, and uh, here's a bit of a inf an advance. Oh, shit. An advance. Holy crap. Well, so we're going to the Vale, I guess. And this dude just gave us some money. Which is good. It didn't actually tell me how much he gave me. Here, let me check. I'm not sure how much we had previously. We have 621 coins. Did we gain any money? I don't think we did. Alright. So we now need to go to somewhere in the Vale. Did that update our quest? Lost Knowledge Part 2. Visit the Sept Tree in the northwestern part of the Vale. Yes. So the Sept Tree. That would be... Um... The Sept Tree... I'm not really familiar with the veil. Vale. Is that a the, the sept tree in the northeastern part of the veil? Vale. So that would be kind of up here, right? Is that a building? Like, do we have to go into one of these places? I don't know. All right. Well, while we're in King's Landing, let's do a little bit of visiting. Let's go around to the taverns and whatnot. See who's here. First, we will... Well, actually... Do we have any food? We have a little bit of cheese and a little bit of bread, but I don't think we have anyone in our party besides Marin. That's right. Okay, so we need to... Let's go to the 
tavern. Now let's see who's hanging around in the tavern. Maybe we can find another companion. Oh, there's Chatya, the owner of this tavern. Sellsword man at arms, townswoman, Westerlands levy. Alright. I wonder what oh and Sapphos. Well, what's up, Chatya? Hello there, welcome to my establishment. What is a woman from the Summer Islands doing running a brothel in King's Landing? Not so strange when you think about it. On the Summer Islands, we don't think of love making as something to be ashamed of, opposed to the people of Westeros. Making love should be celebrated, not suppressed. Wow, she didn't have much to say. Alright, Sathos. Oh my god. I. Okay. Lo gention mer numazam. No, I'm not even gonna try. <laughs> Can I help you? Ah, my humble apologies. I quite forgot that not everyone speaks the exalted language of my great home. So what is this guy? Was that... What was he speaking? Like, Giscari? Or Valerian? I'm not sure. I don't know what kind of accent to give this guy. Sathos. Is he... Dothraki? Probably not. I am Sathos of Karth. Karth. Okay, how do people speak in Karth? I don't know. I don't think they really speak that differently. I am Sathos. I'll give him this voice. I'm Sathos of Karth. The greatest city that ever was and ever will be. Sathos the Wise, after gazing upon Karth for the first time... Because, wait, Sathos the Wise, after gazing upon Karth for the first time, because he knew that all he saw thereafter should look squalid and ugly by comparison, tore out his eyes, while my noble father named me after a madman, I shall never know. Ah, but I digress. Sathos of Karth I am, a great traveler, explorer, and scholar. I travel the world, collecting the rare specimens of everything that I might increase the splendor of the Queen of Cities with my discoveries. Oh my god, this guy. Okay, well, you can join me. How about that? Ah, that would be most splendid. I cry to think of the adventures we shall experience together, Reina and Targaryen. I can perform even the most advanced surgery. Oh my god, that's really useful. And my worldly knowledge is without match. Together we shall make discoveries such as, the n as none has have made before. Very good. Good. Give me a few moments to prepare, and I'll be ready to move. Alright. Well, we've now got a guy with some weird voice. <laughs> I don't know why I gave him that voice. We might change it. I'm, I'm sure I'll forget and end up changing it accidentally in the future, but whatever. Alright, anyone else up here? We've got some people and... Anyone in these rooms? No? Alright. Well, let's talk to these two people. I think these are... I think these are prostitutes, you guys. Hi there, I'm Mary. Welcome to Chatya's. We got every kind of girl here. Ah, I see. Oh, Reynes, won't you take me to bed? I have an itch, and I suspect you might be just the man to satisfy it. Excuse me. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm obviously not a man, so... Alright. Speaking of which, I know that uh, normally you can marry ladies... I wonder if we can marry lords as a woman. I don't know. I've never actually played as a woman before. But that would be cool if we could, like, marry ourselves off to, like, I don't know, Rob Stark. Although I'm never going to do that. Okay. Ooh. Apparently there's a melee going on, and we can join it. Hmm. Do we want to join the melee? Why not? We're at Tier 1. There are 64 participants remaining. And there will be four teams of eight fighters in the next round. Okay, well, I say we fight in the next round. Let's see what, what, what we can do with a sword now. Now that we actually have a sword, let's train with it. All right, so we're going to fight with these guys. Oh, this is going to be cool. So Reynard the Tall. All right, so it's yellow team versus red team, blue team, and green team. All right, I better stick with my teammates. Ooh, I'm not going to be able to do much damage to these guys in, like, full male armor. Oh, oh, there we go. I knocked that guy unconscious, I think. Yep. All right, come on. Got to support my team. Oh. Oh. Watch out. Good job, guys. Just overwhelm him. Oh. Now we got to get this guy with a fancy helmet. Oh. Oh. Oh, God. Now we have to fight all the blues by ourselves. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. Oh god, this is... there's too many. Oh, that's one down. Oh, that's another down. Come on. Oh, so close. Oh. Oh god. Oh. 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 
Oh, God, so we fought valiantly. We fought very valiantly. We did pretty good. We knocked out quite a few people. Um, we have been bested in this melee, but the Meister of the Ceremonies declare a recognition of your skill and bravery, allowing you to take part in the next round. Well, I'll be damned. Let's fight in the next round. Holy shit, they recognized my skill. I mean, we did last quite a while, and we knocked out quite a few people. Alright, here we go. This should be easier, just one team versus another. Alright, come on, guys. Let's do some damage. I'll just do some overhead swings and some slashes. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Oh god, did he just break through my shield? Oh, careful. Oh, we got this. Oh god, no. My teammates have been knocked out. Ooh, right in your face. Beautiful. Good job, team. Victory is yours. You have won this melee, but now you must prepare for the next round. Alright, how many? 16 participants remaining? Ooh, this is getting intense. I don't want to bet on myself because I'm really surprised that we're winning at all. And I think we actually get armor for these melee fights, which is kind of nice. That means we're not completely outclassed. Alright, come on. Oh! Ooh! Careful. Careful. I don't do a lot of damage with this sword, but I can get some people knocked out. Come on. Oh, broke through his shield. Let's come around back. Ooh! Took a thrust. Alright, just one guy left. Oh, nice job, Clarence, the tall. Oh my. Eight participants remaining. Four teams with one fighter each, so it's 1v1v1v1. Should we bet on ourselves? I kind of want to. Let's bet 100 coins that we'll win. Because I have a good, a good feeling about this one. 1v1v1... That means if we just let these guys fight each other, we may be able to just take one guy out. All right, we'll focus on this blue guy. Ooh. Oh, he overswung, and then he gets stabbed in the back. And now we gotta fight this guy with a shield. Oh shit. Okay, we gotta be careful. Oh, don't want to leave our guard open. Oh god. Oh, oh, this is bad. Come on, we got a hundred gold on this fight. Come on, I can't get through his armor. Oh, there we go. Oh, come on. Oh. Ooh. 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 Come on. Come on. Oh, so close. Damn, we just lost a hundred gold. Eliminated from the melee. Oh. Well, we fought valiantly. We did a pretty damn good job, considering. I mean, holy crap. As the only man to remain undefeated of the day, Sir Reynard the Tall wins the love of the small folk and the glory of this melee. I'll be damned. Oh, wow. Well, anywhere else we want to visit? Do we want to go to the marketplace, maybe? Get some more food? Let's go to the goods merchant. So, we have 500 gold. We could buy some bread for 56. Some just normal bread. Might as well. We're probably going to pick up some party members on our way to the Vale. Actually, now that I think about it, I wonder if we have enough time to make it to that wedding. Because we still have the quest to hunt down Jean the Skinny. We have two days to finish the quest. Do you think we could make it to... Where does it say we need to go? Stone... Amberley. Can we make it to Amberley in two days? Where was that? Was that all the way... I think that was somewhere... It was in the Stormlands, right? Amberley? Amberley? Oh, it's all the way up here. Ooh, it's in the afternoon? No, nah, there's no way we can make it to Amberley in two days. I'm not even going to try. So we're just going to have to fail that quest. But we still have a quest to go to Weeping Town, Cairn Hall, wherever the hell that is, in the Vale. All right, northwestern part of the Vale, the Septree. I'm not sure. I don't think that's a specific place on the map. I think there must be a Septree inside one of these towns. Because otherwise... There would be a place called Septry, right? The northeastern part of the Vale. This is definitely the northeastern part. So we must have to just go to one of these towns. Alright. Well, we can go to the Vale. But first, should we go to the castle? See who's in King's Landing? See who's walking around? Because there's a bunch of people here. So we've got 
two people I've never heard of. Lancel Lannister, Grandmeister Pycelle, Jean Jast, Mandon Moore, the High Septon, Peter Baelish himself. Oh shit, and Varys? Is that Varys over there? I think it is. Yes, it is. Lord Varys. Do we want to talk to any of these people? They might have quests for us. I mean, let's talk to the High Septon. Actually, no. I've changed my mind. Let's talk to Peter Baelish. Is this not a splendid day at court? I suppose. Such interesting persons here. And on top of that, Lady Stokeworth is sure to invite me to yet another dinner. I see lamprey pies and succulent pigs in my near future. Yes, it's certainly a day of much promise. Alright, no, I don't think we can actually, like, keep quests from these guys. So I'm just gonna leave. I'm gonna leave. We don't need to dally here any longer. Dally? Is that even right? I don't think... No. Alright, let's get out of here. We've got three people... We now have one more guy in our party, Sathos. We have Sathos and Marin. So Marin, if I remember correctly, his skills were wound treatment. I think, yeah, I put that in there, didn't I? He's got first aid and wound treatment. And then this other guy, Sathos, he has, let's see, skills, spotting, and first aid. All right, cool. Spotting's useful, and so is that first aid, because the other guy doesn't have first aid. He has four in riding, which is crazy, and three in weapon master. And then what do you have in your inventory now? What do you have on your person? Do you have any good equipment? He has, like, nothing. He has, Oh, my God! He has a Valyrian dagger. Holy shit. That's amazing. Where did this guy get such an amazing blade? I kind of want to take it. 21 thrust, 25p. I mean, although if we let him have it, then he'll not, like, die immediately. So <laughs> I guess we can just let him keep it for now. But I am going to take that off you at some point, Sathos, because holy shit. It's not every day you see a Valerian dagger. Oh, my God. Okay, now we're going to have to somehow make our way around these outlaws into the Vale. Oh, that wasn't so bad. Okay, so to enter the Vale, we're going to need to go to the... Ooh! Oh, that was close. That was really close. I don't want to run into outlaws. Okay, the Vale, the Bloody Gate is over here, so we need to go to Lord Harroway's town. So we need to get around these outlaws real quick. Oh, shit, there's freaking outlaws everywhere. This is going to be tough. I need to make sure that I upgrade my speed on the map. Because I really hate running into these guys. Or if anything, we probably should uh, go to some towns and get some recruits. That way we're not such a small party. Because we're almost certainly going to be taken out by anyone who runs into us. Oh, Alright, so far so good. King's Road looks pretty clear. Let's go to Plowin's Hill, see if we can't recruit some people. Uh, no one here seems willing to join me. Oh, shit. Well... Let's go to the village center, and let's go meet this village elder. We need to do this at every place we stop at, because the more village elders we know, the easier it'll be to get on their side, and I think we need to, like, win people's affection. That way we can one day rule Westeros. Oh, yeah, that sounds pretty awesome. All right, village elder, where be you at? Where is this village elder? Oh, shit, where is everyone? Have I come at the wrong time of day, or are they down here? Oh, shit. They're probably down here. Huh. Gotta jump over this fence. Just make sure there's no one hiding behind here, no? Alright. I guess they're down here. I still don't see anyone. Alright, here we go. Oh. oh, I didn't quite make it. Oh, There we go. Oh, there, we there they are. The village elder and his huntsman. Alright, just need a quick chat with you, so I can get some XP, and then we can leave. I'm not going to take any more quests until we finish this one of the Vale, because we have like four active quest lines at the moment. Oh, alright. So, Lord Harroway's town, here we come. Just got to make sure we don't run into any bandits on the way. Looks pretty, pretty clear, actually. There we go. Lord Harroway's town. Now, this is a place that I think was added in the new update, because I don't remember this place being here. 
And it has a tavern, apparently. So I guess we can go into the tavern and see who's in here. Oh shit, a belligerent drunk? Oh, what are you looking at? Do you have any idea who I am? <laughs> Do I care? I'll wipe that smirk right off your face. Oh, you son of a bitch. How dare you threaten me, Reynes Targaryen? Oh, oh my god, he hit me. I did not expect that. Why don't I have my shield out? There we go. Ooh. Oh, how did he just fall over? <laughs> that was funny. He just, like, fell over for no reason. Well, I'd say that he started it. And entitles you to his sword and purse, I suppose. Have a drink on the house, as I dare say you've saved a patron or two a broken skull. Still, I hope he ha still has a pulse. It's not good for an establishment to get name. A name is a place where men are killed. Better him than me. <laughs> so I got his money and his sword. Which means I can give his sword to Sathos, right? And then we can take his dagger from him. Alright, well I don't think there's anyone here. Unless there was someone upstairs, but... I don't feel like checking. Let's go to party, Sathos. Wait, does Marin have a sword? Or does he still have a dagger? What kind of equipment do you have? He has a dagger. Which sword is better? They're the same. All right. Oh, he can't use it. Okay, he doesn't have enough skill in, uh, what is it, strength, I guess? That must be it. Let me see your skills. All right, Marin. I need to see... Okay, strength is 7, and I think he needs 12 for a sword. What about Sathos, for that for that matter? I don't think I checked. Um, 6 strength. Oh my god, he has 15 intelligence. That's pretty crazy. Alright, never mind. So neither of these guys can wield a sword anytime soon. So I just guess I'll leave them with their daggers. Oh my god, what is this? Fieldstone? Oh, it's a town. Uh, the white name confused me. Alright, here we go. To the bloody gate. We don't actually need to go hail anyone. We're just passing through. Alright, so now we need to figure out where exactly we're going. Northeast Vale. Northeast of the Vale. So if I just orientate my r map the correct way... Oh god. Whoa. How did I end up doing that? Okay, so there's the north. This is the east. It must be this area. So let's go up to Strong Song, I guess. Well, I guess we can stop at the Eyrie while we're here. Might as well. See if Liza Aaron's got any quests for us or something. You never know. All right, here we go. Seems free of bandits. Oh my god. It's all the way up here. Um, wow. There's not actually anyone to talk to. At least... There's no taverns or anything. That was surprising. And I don't feel like going to the uh, to the actual castle itself. Alright. I guess Strong Song is the next destination. We'll just go to each castle and town until we find the Sceptre. Because I think that's what we were looking for. 